in the previous video we were asked to solve systems 2 and 3 and now we're going to show the solution system 1 solution is already written here so let's go to number 2 we have x plus y equals 3 and 2x plus 2y equals 6 as you might have observed we can actually get equation 2 the second equation if we're just going to multiply 2 to this equation because if we will have 2 times x plus y and 2 times 3 we can actually get 2x plus 2y equals 6 further if we're going to do elimination or substitution here let me just remove that there you go let's have that as one single line say for example i'll be doing elimination and this will actually become this one, 2x plus 2y equals 6. There you go. I'm going to rewrite it here again, 2x plus 2y equals 6. And copy the second equation, 2x plus 2y equals 6. If I am going to eliminate, I will be using subtraction. So this will become 0 and 0, 6 and 0. And well, we all know that 0 is always equal to 0. So that must mean that any value of x... And any value of y that we put in this system, it will always be solved. As long as we solve the basic equation of the 2, which is x plus y equals 3. Which our knowledge of parametric equations will come in. So let's bring that here. We have x plus y equals 3. Therefore, I can bring this here. x will be equal to 3 minus y. Therefore, our solution will just be y. As you can see, our free variable will be equal to t, making it any real number, and our x will be 3 minus y. So, unlike this, the first rather, the first system, who has definitely a specific solution here, we have a solution set because we have infinitely many solutions. Now, for the third system, let's just raise that up a little bit. There you go. For the third system, we have x plus y equals 3 and x plus y equals 1. So if I'm going to eliminate them, I can use subtraction. This will become 0 and this will become 0 as well. But 3 minus 1 equals 2. And we know that 0 is not equal to 2. Now this is indicating that there are no numbers x and y that can be when you add them rather, can be both 3 and both 1. So that means there is no value of x and y, an element of real number, that this will happen, or this rather, will happen simultaneously or at the same time. Hence, we can say that there is no solution to this system. So if you would recall, we have here a system that has a specific solution, a particular solution, a system that has a solution set, infinitely many solutions, and a system that has no solutions. We can describe these types of systems as follows. The system that has exactly one solution, we call that a consistent and independent system. And that is actually what we have in system 1. The system that has infinitely many solutions is what we call a consistent and dependent system, which is system 2. Now, if you would notice, as long as our system has a solution, we call it consistent. Hence, we can call systems with solution consistent, consistent systems. Whereas, a system that has no solution, we call it an inconsistent system, and this is our system 3. So, if we have a solution, we call it a consistent system. One solution, it's independent. Infinitely many, it's dependent. And if there is no solution, we call it inconsistent. And these terms will be important because we will be solving not just two, but more than two equations and in more than two variables as well. And because of that, we have to develop a way of how we need to solve them. Now, Take a look. Which is easier to solve? The one on the left or the one on the right?
So, if you answered the one on the right, that is correct. And why do you think so? If you're going to notice, unlike here where there is no one single equation that we can use for substitution, we already have here z equals 2, which we can easily substitute here and we will get a value of y. And once we get the values of y and z, we can substitute them to get the value of x here. And that makes solving a lot more easy easier and the system that is in this form and as you can see this is three equations and we have one two three unknowns although not necessarily in all equations we have that if we have this type of system where it's easy to substitute we call the system in row echelon form which means that it has a stair step pattern with leading coefficients of one why does it cause stair step? Because if we're going to write it, we're in the same coefficients align. I will have here something like this. So it's like a stair step pattern. And because of this, we can substitute backwards. We can substitute z, z equals 2 here to so get the value of y and substitute both y and z to top. And we call that process back substitution. So it will be easy if our systems are in low row echelon form rather because we can do back substitution. Substitution. So a simple example of back substitution, we have here a system of two equations in two variables wherein the other one can simply be substituted here. So I will just have x minus 2 times negative 2 equals 5. Multiplying this, I will have x plus 4 equals 5. Therefore, x equals 1. So therefore, the solution to this system will be x equals 1 and y equals negative 2. So, this time, try to do back substitution. Pause the video and try to solve this system using back substitution. Alright, so we have here z, let's insert it here, we will have y plus 3 times 2 equals 5, we'll have y plus 6 equals 5, therefore y equals negative 1. Using this value and this value to this equation, I would now have, there you go, let's use a different color, x plus 2 times my y is negative 1, plus 3 times my z is 2 equals 9. Therefore, I will have x plus negative 2 plus 6 equals 9. So this is x plus 4 equals 9. Therefore, x equals 5. Oops, I think there's a mistake. Wait a moment. Right, so this should have been minus. So this should have been. Let's just erase that one again. So therefore, I will have x plus 2 plus 6. Therefore, I will have x plus 8 equals 9. Hence, x equals 1. So finally, the solution here will be x equals 1, y equals negative 1, and z equals 2. So that's an example of how we solve system of equations in more than two variables, more than two equations using back substitution.